Menabone exhibition in the Marriott at Cobb Museum of Art. This is the largest exhibition of Menabone's, Menabone's works ever seen. The exhibition is arranged chronologically. Our first painting, uh, the earliest one we have, begins in 1928, Landscape. And the Archangel, which now has St. Joseph's Hospital, also painted in 1928. Our next earliest is an Italian landscape, painted in 1932 and signed and dated, Otto's Menabone. The wall text uh, explains a year and a half's worth of work, Otto's Menabone's life, in, in several paragraphs. I love his quote, I love birds and I enjoy painting, so art is not work, it is a way of life. Many of the other works were paint, early works done on illustration paper that is yellow due to oxidation over time. Uh, we have sparrow hawks, common mallard, kingbirds and sparrow hawk, and boat tailed crackle. Brown Leghorn was originally owned by Mary Mobley, and some prints were made from it lithographs. The, the painting was done in 1942, and the lithographs were made in 1956. Into Gallery 2. We have an owl on, done on illustration paper. This was featured in Menabone's Birds, uh, printed in 1950. Another owl owned by a private collector. Most of the works in this gallery were done in the 1940s. All sh Most of them show his paintings done as a pair. We do have one cardinal, uh, one of his earliest works done in 1935 owned by Marilyn Hogue, niece of Sarah Menaboni. Morning Dove and Bob White, you will recognize. These were also owned by Mary Mobley originally, and lithographs were made of these. A side note, these were once owned by the High Museum of Art, and they do accession these paintings, and they are now owned by Dr. and Mrs. Bruce, who purchased the Menaboni's home and have built their own home and will, will live there. Dr. Bruce is a bird breeder himself. Morning Doves um, on paper, another beautiful work. The Snowy Bread is probably one of our more famous paintings. It belongs to the Special Collections Library of Emory University. It was originally painted for Robert Woodruff and reproduces a lithograph for his Christmas card in 1949. The Great Blue Heron uh, is interesting because part of it was painted in 1928. The heron itself in the background was painted 61 years after the heron was originally done. The silk screen was donated by Lockheed Aeronautical was painted probably in the late 60s to early 70s after Atos and Sarah had a trip to Japan. Uh, it was in the boardroom at Lockheed. It was absolutely beautiful. We have the children count the birds. I think there are eight hidden in the silk screen. It consists of seven panels painted on cheeky silk. The next two paintings hang at Callaway Gardens. The Azalea is featured on one of their booklets. The Christmas greenery uh, has been made into note cards. And you recognize the Blue Jay painting, which was the inspiration for Menabone's Birds, spotted by the publisher, editor-in-chief of Reinhardt Publishing, when it appeared on the cover of Atlanta Journal Magazine back in 1945. And this was one of Sarah's painting, favorite paintings, and she never did part with this. It now hangs at Callaway Gardens. 
the Magnolia Butterfly painting is the most special to me. This was my first painting from my husband by Otto Smetaboni in 1997, and this began my quest to find everything I could about the Atlanta artist, his life and his work. The next three are camellias that were originally painted for the American Camellia Catalog, done in 1949, 1950, and 1951. For the catalog, Otto Smetaboni did the outline of the flowers, and the students from the University of Georgia hand-colored each camellia. So every catalog is slightly different. These paintings were once on exhibition at the Kennedy Gallery in New York, and we're lucky to have them back in Georgia. In Gallery 3, we start in the 1950s. Um, many of these paintings came from Lester Henderson Gallery in Monterey, California and have made their way back to Atlanta. Each one is as beautiful as the other. All are painted as pairs. The Cardinals and Longleaf Pine has been featured in the newspaper as advertising for this exhibition. Most of these were painted between 1955 and probably 1965. The kingfisher is a beautiful, and this kingfisher has a nice story with it. Mrs. Kennedy, when I picked up the painting, told me that back in the early 1950s, she had told a friend she would like to have a painting by Otto Smetaboni, and one day there was a knock at her door, and she opened, and Otto Smetaboni stood there with this beautiful painting of the Kingfishers, and she asked him what he wanted for the painting. He said $100. She scraped together the $100, and it still hangs in her home today. The Screech Owls, beautiful. The Scarlet Tanager is another used in our advertising on the banner outside happens to be a group of painting that I was fortunate enough to own. And the Cardinals, we did a grouping of the red birds on this wall. You can see all the foliage is different in each painting. Mushrooms, also painted about 1945. Okay, the rest of Gallery 3, the whooping crane, the oil on mace night. In a glass case is one of the original Menomonis birds, the limited edition, signed by both Sarah and Autos, and numbered A183. There were 500 of these books signed by Autos and Sarah. The green wing teal was also featured in the second edition of Menomonis birds, the reprint. Beautiful showing the iridescence of the bird's feathers. And we have more of the hunting birds. One more beautiful than the next. The chickadees. A 
we have two paintings on the coral wood here, which he discovered uh, on a visit to Japan. He liked it so much that his dining table made from it, and the studio paneled in this new coral wood. These were done uh, probably 1955 to 1965. Black crowned night herons, one with marsh grass, and one with Spanish moss, the blue herons, and then an unusual but absolutely spectacular parrot. Sarah had written about Chi Chi in the 1950 edition of Menavoni's Birds, and I had thought this might be Chi Chi, but it was painted about 10 years after Chi Chi would have been painted. So this is just another absolutely beautiful parrot. Go back to the second part of Gallery One. The painting is done in the 1970s. We have uh, the American Kestrel with white pine, owned by the Atlanta History Center. Snowy Egret and the Wood Duck with cypress and Spanish moss, also owned by the Atlanta History Center. All three of these paintings are special because lithographs have been made from all of these. As far as I know, the snowy bread lithograph is no longer available, at least I have not seen it. The Atlanta History Center sells uh, lithographs of the American Kestrel and the Wood Duck. The Cedar Wax Wings is special, you might recognize this. It's a private lender, very good friends of the Menabonis. And the beautiful Bicentennial Eagle, which the Atlanta Journal calls the embodiment of power. Ducks in flight hung in the Menomonies dining room for many years. It now belongs to Callaway Gardens. The bluebird is a special gift to Mrs. Elizabeth Harris from Otto's Menomone. Seagull, owned by the Atlantic History Center, also painted on Masonite. And La Torre del Marzocco, the Tower of Marzocco, owned by Russ Clayton, painted on board in 1979. The State Seal of Georgia, this painting was done for Elizabeth and Joe Frank Harris in 1987 in commemoration for serving, for Mr. Harris serving eight years as governor of Georgia. This painting features the state seal and incorporates our state's official flower and bird, the Cherokee Rose and the Brown Thrasher. The school children especially love to look at this painting during the tours to see all the little things, they, special things about the surrounding states they can find, such as the citrus and the seashells representing Florida, and that the Native Americans, also in Florida, out in the lobby, oops, the Canada goose was flown up from Charleston, South Carolina. It is also done on wood panel. When we go out into the lobby. Oh, let's not miss the little sketch of finches we have that was given to a friend of the artist. He uses as a reference for some of his paintings. Now, out in the lobby, we have some more artifacts. These two pictures represent Otto's Menabone's early days as a in World War I. Here's a photograph of the artist himself, about the age of 85. This painting, Cardinal's on the Crab Apple Blossom, dated about 1947, on illustration paper, also yellowed over time. 
Clifford Warbler, painted about 1950, signed in pencil with the flower's name and the bird's name printed underneath. We have a lithograph of the other archangel, which hangs now hangs in Dublin, Iowa. This originally hung next to the first archangel, which you saw in Gallery 1, uh, until the new St. Joseph's Hospital was built in 1978. At that time, they tried to take both paintings off the wall, this canvas glue, <coughs> to the plaster, and one came off easily, and this one did not. So Dr. Roddenberry from Pine Mountain, Georgia, took it upon himself to take it off the wall, and he and his wife spread it on the dining room table and scraped the plaster off themselves, and then had it restored here in Marietta, Georgia. Once it was restored, they enjoyed it at their home for several years, and then sent it to Dublin, Ireland, where Dr. Roddenberry's sister is a sister of mercy in the first Sisters of Mercy Hospital at International Center on Baggett Street in Dublin, Ireland. This photograph shows the two angels as they hung. This was taken in 1950 at a capping celebration at the original St. Joseph's Hospital on Cortland Street. Then we have some pencil sketches which belong to Callaway Gardens. The last pencil sketch is a preliminary illustration he had done for the World Book Encyclopedia. <laughs> and in our case, we have a lot of wonderful memorabilia lent by Russ Clayton, another page from the World Book Encyclopedia, Men of Oni's Birds, published in 1950, many sports illustrated, which Otto's Men of Oni illustrated the cover. Never the Nightingale, illustrations done by Atos Menaboni. Birds of Georgia, also illustrated by Atos Menaboni. Uh, and the American Bird Catalog by Coca-Cola. Also, he's featured in a school book that all the children in the state of Georgia used in front of his beautiful CNS Emily mural made of eggshells. Our next glass case is a favorite. It has his easel and his calling card with a photograph and signature of the artist. The photograph was taken when Autos was about 85 years of age. You have to make sure you see the calling card. It's very special. Upstairs to Gallery Four. Zero is not a figure. 
No, this is starting. Mexican peasants were painted after a trip to Mexico, painted on silk. Now owned by Calvary Gardens. <clears throat> a statue of the mother in Mexico City, one of the only watercolors in the exhibition. And the font sparrows. The wood thrush and the snowy grit and marsh grass are owned by the Atlanta History Center. They have lent all 21 of their paintings for the exhibition. Is it still on? Another with his flying memorabilia from World War One, borrowed by from Pat Epps from the DeKalb Peachtree Airport. The owl with climbing hydrangea is also part of the Atlanta History Center collection. Twenty paintings were commissioned in 1978 by Mr. Ben Sims and donated in the memory of his wife, and this is one of the twenty. This painting was in the first edition of Menaboni's Birds in 1950. Semi palmated clover. Down the hallway into Gallery 4. The sailboat was painted in 1988. For the cunning hands, this is one of the only paintings that I know of in the exhibition that was painted from a photograph. Um, Mrs. Cunningham showed Otto's the, the picture he had hoped to sail on the boat, but was never able to. This was a boat owned by the Cunninghams. This is another very special painting, symbolic of the bird flying the nest given to Mrs. Elizabeth Harris on her, for her 50th birthday, which was also the same year her son, young Joe, was engaged to be married. On this wall, we talk about Otto Sanaboni's exhibitions and awards. <clears throat> Gallery four, we have the rest of the Atlanta History Center collection as well as a complete collection of Christmas cards done for Robert Woodruff, which now belong to Callaway Gardens. Bluebird on the red maple branch. Kildeer with sand dunes and marsh grass. And then we have the complete set of American Songbirds fine china plates. These were done in 1955 after Mills Lane Jr. commissioned Octos to design a set of dinner plates to benefit the Cerebral Palsy School Clinic of Atlanta, of which he was a patron. The series was manufactured by Syracuse, China and Syracuse, New York. 72,000 plates were produced and the Cerebral Palsy School Clinic made almost $200,000 from the sale of the plates over a 10-year period. With the bucklehead duck with marsh grass and the hula <coughs> dancer with marsh grass. The 
rest of the four set of china. Eight plates were made originally. Originally, a set of four were available at the bank, CNS Bank, for $25. They were also sold by Abercrombie and Fitch because the owner of the store at the time was also a friend of Mills Lane Jr. We have the least term. Cardinal with Magnolia, the Purple Gallon, the Redwing Blackbird, the Native Woodpecker, Bob White, the Chickadee, and the Brown Thrasher with Cherokee Rose, the state bird and state flower of Georgia. Maybe Gallery 4. We have a photograph of one of the early mural works from a private collection. It was originally hung at CNS Bank. And this is a very rare print owned by St. Joseph's Hospital of the Green Wing Teal. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for lending your paintings. And we hope Autos Menaboni will now receive the recognition he deserves. Thank you.